Hey everybody, Craig here, Old Bay Crafts. We are back at the table and we're going to do a strategy I call the Baltimore Bump and Run. And it's a little bit of an aggressive strategy, but we have a $600 bankroll, so we're going to see if we can make anything happen. It's going to be a $15 minimum table and we're going to do 15 on the pass line and 15 in the field on the come out. Um, just to show you, I'll show you with this. Once we get a point established, you're going to go 110 inside, and if you win in the field, you're going to bump up the 5 and 9 to $40 each. And then you're going to start a DC bet. Um, once you get three DC bets established, whatever you've won, go down to 66 inside, and then use whatever you take down to make odds on the DC bets. All right? So we only have about four or five shots at this. And I'm gonna do the three, two, one, three on the come out. And then we'll switch over to the two, three, four, two. All right, here we go, dice out. And we have a come out seven. And in this scenario, that's fine because it's gonna be a push. We're gonna lose the field. We're gonna win on the pass line, front line winner. So it's just gonna be a push. All right. Three, two, one, three. Dice out. And we got a six easy. Four, two, six. Six will be the point. That's a no fielder. Now, if you don't get the field on the come out, then you're going to have to wait for the first hit. We'll go 110 inside. You have to wait for your first hit in order to then bump up your five and nine. But you will start going ahead and run with your DC. Now we're over to the two, three, four, two, dice out. And we've got a hard six. So we hit the point. So the DC is going to travel. We're going to get paid 35 on our six. I'm going to pay it out in nickels. And now we have what we need to bump up the five and nine. And we'll wreck. And we went on the pass line. So the win on the pass line is going to pay for your field on the come out. So the only thing active on the come out is the DC bet, the field, and the pass line. We're going to go back to the 3 2 1 3. Dice out. And we got a 5 4 9. That's a field winner. So we're going to win in the field. We already have our five and nine pressed up from our previous win on the six. So we're just going to rack 15 and start our second DC bet. And we'll mark the nine. Dice out. And we got a 6-5 yo. So that's a loser in the DC. So we'll replace the DC. out
And we have a 6 2 easy 8. Mark the 8. DC is going to travel up to the 8. We're going to win 35. Just going to rack it. And we're going to establish our third DC bit. Dice out. And we have a 415. Let's mark it. Our third DC bet's going to travel. We're now going to ask the dealers to take us down to 66 inside. change here. And now that we have our three DC bets, We're going to take 30 odds on each. And we've got 66 inside, but because the 6 and 8 and the 5 are covered here, we're good. And now we can proceed. out. And there's a 415. Back to back. So we're going to lose the DC and the odds. We're going to win 21. So we're going to lose a quarter. Go ahead and rack that. We're going to move the four over to the six, or the six over to the four and the eight over to the ten. Rack six. Here we go. Dice out. And six one seven out. So we're going to lose all of this, but this will come down. Fifteen on the flat. We'll actually make a five dollar profit. Get the sixth one in there. So let's do a quick rack check. We started with six hundred dollars. So 
the first two columns is our six hundred dollars and we actually have 51 in profit so that's an eight percent uh, win goal right now so if you're trying for like a 20 percent win goal um, looking you're looking for 125 all right, now you can run this through the DP if you want, um, but if you do, you're gonna have to, you may have to hedge for the, for the seven and the 11. Um, you can do so, you just won't do a field, uh, but having no field, um, you miss out on the 12 if it hits, because a 12 is a push on the DP. Uh, but if we did the DP, then what I would do is you can take four dollars out of your rack you can grab a dollar yo and you can hop the reds for a dollar each so it's only a cost of four dollars versus fifteen in the field the only thing is you're going to miss out on the twelve so if you just want to do a nickel you can do a nickel but even if you did a nickel total and put a dollar crap bet um, you're really not gonna you'll win on a two three uh, and you will if a 12 hits it's a push on the DP and the dollar is only going to get you eight dollars so you'd better just put the dollar on midnight itself so five dollars I don't think you know if you do the pass line you're gonna want to do the field but if you do the DP you can cut down ten dollars from having to play the field to Spreading out uh, $5 on a yo, 12 straight up, and hop in the sevens for a dollar each. Um, either or, uh, it, it's really a, it's your decision. So if we're going to do it from the DC or the DP, uh, this is what I'll do. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and show it from the DP. And we'll go back to the 3, 2, 1, 3. Here we go. Dice out. So there's a five two seven, a come out seven, and that's why I would hedge it if I was doing the DP. So five two seven, the uh, midnight and the yo are going to come down, and you're going to lose the DP. And the 4, 3, and the 5, 2 are going to come down. But you're going to win 15, 16, and down on the 6, 1 hop. And the 15 can repay your DP. So all in all, having a, hitting a 7 on the come out um, is going to cost you $4. But if you're able to hit a yo, same thing with a yo. A yo is going to cost you $4. Um, so you would have to bump up the yo to two dollars and hop the reds for two each or six total. It's still cost effective because if you're doing the pass line, you're doing the field on the come out. Um, that's going to cost you fifteen in the field. But if you do the DP, you can get away with. Um, a nine dollars instead of fifteen, and the nine dollars will get you. If a twelve hits, you'll it's a push on the DP, but you'll win thirty, thirty one and down. If a yo hits, you'll win thirty, thirty two and down. And if a hop in the reds hits, you'll win thirty or thirty two and down. So you'll make profit on an eleven, a seven, or a twelve. Um, and then if a two three hits. You'll win on the DP, but you'll lose nine dollars. So you'll actually only net um, six bucks. All right, let's go. We're doing it from the DP this time. Dice out, and we have a four one five.
So the nine dollars will come down. Five is going to be the point. You don't have the money to bump up the five and nine, so you'll need it. You'll need at least one hit of the inside to bump up your five and nine. And then the run part, there's your 15 DC. Dice out. And we have a hard eight. So this is going to travel to the eight. I'm going to pay this out in nickels. And now we can bump up the five and nine. And we'll take down our eight. And you can grab the four or 10 and rack a nickel just place for 25. Here we go. Dice out. And we got a six, three, nine. So this will travel up to the nine. We have 40 on it. It's gonna win 56. We're gonna take 15 off the top of it, put it in the DC, and we're gonna rack. 81. Here we go. Dice out. And we have a 527 out. Alright, so we're going to lose all this. Both DC bets are going to come down and get paid one to one. And your DP is going to get paid one to one. So we'll bring back our nine dollars, hop the reds two each, the yo for two, and the midnight for one. And we'll start over. Three, two, one, three on the come out. Dice out. And we got a five, one, six. So our nine dollars hedge on the come out comes down. One ten inside, fifteen dollar DC. Changing over to the two three four two, dice out, and five two seven out PSO.
PSOs hurt any strategy. I don't care what you do. Gonna win 15 on the DP. So what you can do with this instead, just to cover yourself, is you can make your DP $100. So by making your DP 100 bucks, That way, if you're doing 110 inside initially, it won't hurt as bad on your uh, wallet. So we're still up. Um, in fact, let's see. Well, we're down a little bit now. We have a little bit over 500, so we're down. We're down almost 100 right now. So what we can do, we can do 100 DP. Now I know hedging is bleeding your bankroll, so we don't have to hedge. Let's see if we can get a point. Dice out. And we got a 314. Four is going to be the point. There's our 15 DC bet, 110 inside. And we're ready to go. Dice out. 6 2 easy, 8. DC is going to travel to the eight. I'm going to pay it out of nickels. 35. Bump our five and nine up to 40 each. Drop 10 out of the rack and take our second DC bet and we'll take down our eight and rack it. Dice out. And we have a 6 5 yo. That's going to lose in the DC area. Dice out. And there's a four three seven out. All right, so the DC is going to come down, and get paid 15, and we have 100 on the DP. So we lost 10 bucks. So again, there's variations you can do with this. Um, you can run it from the deep, from the dark side as a hybrid. You can run it from the light side. You can change it up however the table is uh, hitting. So right now, the table is very cold. So we're going to continue to run it from the DC, or the DP. Okay? But now this time, we are going to do... A $15 field bet. 
and see if we can't do the bump, bottom or bump first. Three, two, one, three. Dice out. Oh, no roll. Dice off table. So what we're really looking for, for, for a come out, when you're doing it through the DC, is we're looking for a two, a two, three, four, nine, ten, um, or a 12. So we, the only number we want, two numbers we want to avoid on the come out is a seven and a yo. Even though the yo is a field winner, it would lose the DP. Dice out. And there's a five, two, seven. So there's a, so sevens are running hot right now. And that's gonna cost you, that's 115 on the come out. So we'll go right back. Because we're a glutton for punishment. Here we go. Dice out. And we have a six, two, eight. So that's a non field, non field number. So anytime the field doesn't hit on the come out, um, we're going to have to we're going to have to get one hit in order to bump the five and nine with the bottom or bump. But the bottom or bump and run, you can already start running with the DC bit. All right, here we go. Dice out. Oh, 6-1. Wow. PSOs, are, we're just hitting sevens like crazy. All right, we lost 25 on that. You know, if, if a table's this cold, and I know that, you know, people don't like to put odds on the 6 and 8 when a DP gets established, but uh, if a table's running this cold, you have no choice. You know, and don't ever take down a DC bet that gets established on a 6-8. I know people do no action all the time for a 6-8 DC bet. I don't recommend it. All right, let's do 15 in the field. We're looking for any field number other than an 11. Dice out. And we're also trying to avoid the seven, which we're not doing right now. If you're coming like this and you're seeing a lot of sevens on the come out, you're going to have no choice but to. Right, right now, we're bleeding our bankroll uh, profusely. We've lost at least four hundred dollars, three to four hundred dollars already. So we're going to have no choice but to hop the sevens. And you're going to need to hop the sevens. You can hop the sevens for a minimum of, you need something to cover the 115. So, um, if you hop them for eight each minimum, you'll win 120 on a seven. And uh, we're going to hop them for 10 each, just because the sevens are so prevalent right now. All right, here we go. Dice out. And there's a 6-1. 
So now instead of losing money, we actually made a little bit of profit. Okay. So 617. And maybe this is a crappy set for it to come out. And that's that's very possible. All right, we're going to lose the 115. But we have 10 on the hop and red. So we're going to lose 20 of the 30 on the hop and red. And 10 is going to win 150. 160 and down. So we actually made 40, 40 profit. Wow, that, that's four sevens in a row, peeps. And three out of the four have been six one sevens. All right, we're gonna change the set because it's obviously not working. Um, we're gonna go to kissing sixes with threes on top. Here we go. And there's a three, two, five. So that's a no field five. Now on the seven, on the previous uh, roll, the seven out, uh, the, I'm sorry, the come out seven, uh, we did profit 45. So we have enough to do our five, nine bump, bottom or bump. And now we'll do our DC bet. But well, we are down. And with any strategy, I don't care who you are, the dice have to roll your way, obviously. All right, two, three, four, two. Dice out. Dice off table, no roll. Dice out. We got a five, four, nine. So the DC is going to travel up to the nine. Going to win 56. Going to take 15 off the top of the nine, place our second DC, and bring 81 back to the rack. Forget to mark our numbers. Dice out. And got a four two six. DC is going to travel to the six. Going to win thirty five. Going to take fifteen. And rack, rack 50. Dice out. And six one seven out. So as we're pulling down our bets and we're setting the DCs, that's where the seven becomes more powerful. Okay. So we just lost. We just lost eighty five. These two are going to come down and get paid. 
one to one. And so we actually profited uh, $45. Fifteen in the field. So we're going to get some change. Some more change. So we're hopping the reds for a minimum of eight dollars each. That'll win one fifteen plus the eight, one twenty three and down, and we have one fifteen here. All right, we're gonna do kissing aces threes on top. Oh, we didn't put it in our, uh, that was a 617. Dice out. And we have a 549 again. Nine's going to be the point. We're going to lose the $24 pop in reds. We're going to win 15 in the field. We're going to bump the five and nine. And get our DC bet out there. Dice out. We got a three, two, five. So our DC is going to travel up to the five. We're going to win 56. Going to take 15 off the top of the five. And we're going to rack 81. Here we go. Dice out. Five, three, eight. DC's gonna travel to the eight. Gonna win 35. Gonna take the reds, do our third DC bet, rack 50. Here we go. Dice out. Five, one, six. DC is going to travel up to the six. Going to win 35. And we're going to bring all this back to the rack. And now that we have three DC bets established, We can now take odds. Dice out. 
dice out. And there's the 437. All right, we're going to lose the, the uh, 40 on the 9. But we're going to win on all of our DC bets plus our DP. So let's see what that does to our bankroll. All right, we're going to win... 15 on our flats. And we're going to win quarter on our odds and 20 on our odds for the five. And we're going to win on the DP. There's our DP win. So now, take a look at the rack. This, to these two columns, this is our 600 original. And we have, we have 113 in profit. So 113 in profit is 18%, 19% win goal. I'm okay with that being close to what I need. So <clears throat> we'll call it a day. Uh, we can easily go out and, and try to do it again, but I think the Baltimore bump and run works best from the dark side if the table is really cold. If it's a really hot table, uh, the Baltimore bump and run will work on, um, on the light side if you're continuing to hit box numbers. Uh, because the DCs will obviously, the $15 DC bets will get sniped, uh, but eventually you'll be hitting points and you'll be winning on the pass line. So you, and a variation is you can always grab odds on the pass line if it's, if it's a really um, strong shooter. But if the table's as cold as this video was, um, you're best to do it from the dark side. And I think we've shown how you can actually recover um, so we had a $600 bankroll. We made 113 in profit. That's 19% win goal. I'm happy with that. Uh, that's enough for me to walk away and be satisfied. Um, we didn't really have any qualifying shooters today. I don't think we had, let me check. Yeah, I don't think we did. Um, maybe the first shooter was a qualifying shooter, but I don't think we were hitting very many boxes. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think of the Baltimore bump and run. Um, it's just something I thought of yesterday and I wanted to try to play it out. Um, you know, you could also work the five and nine like a G Money special if you're playing the light side version of it. Uh, but the dark side version of it, the reason I like it is because if you're able to bump up the five and nine initially, whether from the field win or from your first hit on the inside. Then you use 15 off of the top of the bet and start your and use it for your DC bets and then just rack the rest. Because by the time you rack two times, if you're, if you're able to rack a five or a nine and a six and an eight uh, consecutively, um, you know, racking the five after you make the $15 DC bet, you're racking 81. If it's a six or eight, you're racking 50. So after a few hits, especially if you're able to hit a five and then a six, or a five and then an eight, or an eight and a nine, and vice versa, well, then you have 130, 131, and you've covered your DP, and you're out of the hand on your DP. Uh, but I, I kind of like this. I want to roll it out again. Um, but I definitely think it's a good play for a cold table. Um, all right, let me know what you think. Hit that like and share if you would. Hit the subscribe. I want to thank you all for joining me. Really appreciate it. Um, we did surpass 500 subscribers uh, about a month or so ago, and we're looking for our way to get up to 1,000. Uh, so if you could help us out, that'd be great. Share share the video if you would. Hit the notification bell so you know when my next video is going to come out.
but today was the Baltimore bump and run. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you all later. And when you're at your tables, season your play. Good night.